I'm going to show you how to build an AI agent that has access to your Google Calendar. It allows users to check your availabilities and also make bookings. So stay tuned and I'll show you how to build it from scratch. All right, let's get into it. So the very first step that we want to do is add a chat node, so a chat trigger. And this is going to allow a user to engage with the AI agent in order to make those bookings. After we've added the chat node, let's go ahead and add an AI agent. So when we configure the AI agent, what we want to do is just connect to the chat trigger node and the prompt will be the chat input. We're also going to add a system message and this is where we configure what we want the AI agent to do. You can see here we've told them that they're a helpful, intelligent website chatbot for christhorrington.com. Current date is today's date and what time zone they're in. We then go and provide context about the business. So in this instance, we're just talking about how the mission of the business is to empower individuals and businesses to automate repetitive tasks using AI agents, the expertise and the learning resources. Then we go ahead and give the AI chatbot the responsibilities. So their responsibilities will include answering questions, so providing information about AI agents, NAN workflows, and how these automation tools can benefit the users. The second responsibility that we've given the AI agent is to schedule meetings. So this will be uh, assisting users in booking meetings for consultations or support. We ask that when they go ahead and book the meetings that the AI agent requests their first name, their email address, their preferred date and time for the meeting, and we'll actually add a tool so that the AI agent can go and check the availabilities on our calendar. Once they've got all the details, we'll then ask the AI agent to confirm. So repeat the provide information, including the date and time of the meeting to ensure accuracy. And we just give it some communication guidelines. So tone, be kind and funny, the time zone awareness, conversational style. And as well as this little last section, which is pretty important, it just tells the AI agent to stay on topic. So if somebody's trying to, to derail the conversation, just politely steer them back to the normal conversation. Awesome. So now that we've given the set of instructions to our AI agent, let's go and add a chat model. So I've been using Open Router and I've already added the credentials. The model that we're going to be using is Gemini Flash. Flash 2.0 Experimental Free. This is one of the best free models that I've been testing with and uh, seems to do the job. Once we've got the, a, the AI chat model, let's go and add some memory. In this example, we're just going to use simple memory. So this will allow the AI agent to have context of the previous messages from the user. So we'll just go ahead and set it to five and it's really helpful just to provide a better user experience. So now to the fun part. So now that we've set up simple memory for our AI agent, it's time to give the AI agent the ability to check the availabilities in our Google Calendar. So to do that, we're going to add the Google Calendar tool. And the first thing we're going to do is change the operation to get many. We're going to select the calendar. So I'm going to select my calendar. We'll then limit the results to just 10. And we want to make sure that the AI agent is searching for bookings after the date that the user has specified, but also before the date that the user has specified as well. The last thing that we're going to do is just add a time zone. So we'll go and select time zone down here. And because I'm located in Australia, I'll just go and search for my time zone. Perfect. So now we've configured the tool so that the AI agent can go and check the availabilities on my Google Calendar. The next step is to go ahead and give the AI agent the ability to create bookings on my calendar. So to do that, again, we go and add the node panel and we're searching for another Google Calendar node. Now in this instance, we're going to go ahead and leave it as create. We're going to select my calendar once again. But in this instance, we're going to actually have to say that the start date is the start date from the AI agent as well as the end date. So we'll just go and change that quickly. Now let's go ahead and add some additional properties. So in what we want to do here is add attendees. We'll go ahead and add the user's email address that they provided in the chat, as well as our own email address. 
And finally, we'll add the summary, which is also the title of the calendar invite. So we'll just go ahead and save that and make sure that it's linked up. So now we've given the AI agent the ability to get our calendar bookings as well as create them. Okay, let's go ahead and test it out now. Hi there. Hey, Nathan here, ready to help out with all things AI agents and, and workflows. What's in your mind today? I'd like to make a booking. Okay, to book a meeting, first I need a bit of info about you. What's your first name? Chris. All right, Chris, what's your email address? Chris at test.com. All right, what day works best for you? Remember, I'm in Sydney, GMT 11, so make sure that the time zone lines up. I'm in Sydney as well. I'd like to check your availabilities on the 17th of March, 2025. Oh, it looks like March 17th is chockers. There are meetings at 3 or 4 p.m. Any other day or time works for you. What about the 18th? Yep, but the 18th is wide open. What time suits you? Let's do midday. So just to confirm, 18th of midday, that's 12 p.m. March 18th, Sydney time. If that's all good, just say the word. All right, let's book it in. Fantastic. It's uh, booked the calendar meeting, and I'll just show you that quickly. So here we go here, and we've got the AI consult right here. And we can see that the organizers, Chris Torrington and Chris at test.com.au has been added. So there you have it. That's how quick and easy it is to build an AI chatbot that has access to your Google Calendar, can check availabilities and also book meetings on behalf of the customer. So if you found this useful, please subscribe and follow for more content next week.